Well, hunters uh, used to say, at least I've heard them say to me, that uh, that we human beings evolved from a hunting stock way back, uh, as far back as three, four, five, six million years ago in, uh, in the form of the uh, Australopithecines. So I don't think that uh, they were hunters, were they? No, no, this is a myth that, that's very important to debunk, and in fact has been thoroughly debunked since the uh, 1970s. This myth, uh, the so-called man-the-hunter myth, this emerged in the 1940s. Uh, and it happened uh, quite interesting with an uh, anthropologist named uh, Raymond Dart, who was living uh, in the Johannesburg uh, area of South Africa. And he came across some fossils that uh, were uh, clearly uh, the early human ancestors were Australopithecines. And he saw that uh, they had uh, skull damage, uh, holes in the skull. And he, and he built up this elaborate interpretation based on very paltry evidence that uh, early humans were killers, that... Uh, he built he, the speculative theory that, that we, we merged into this, we came down from the trees and lived in the savannas only because we could give up a, a fruit-eating kind of existence and become ruthless killers. We had to kill to survive in the African savannas. And so killing became a part of it, and we became a really bloodthirsty kind of cultures, and hunting was at the center of this and has been crucial for driving evolution uh, for all the positive and negative aspects of human existence and has been crucial for the development of the brain itself. All these incredible claims of, of the importance of hunting and human culture and for all the positive aspects and, and also negative aspects that distinguish us as a, as a, as a so-called unique species. Uh, this myth uh, that uh, came about through through DART uh, was was only it, it, it prevailed throughout culture and science uh, specifically for about two decades. It, it was challenged when it, when it realized that um, the, the the damage he saw in the skulls was not from humans killing each other, but from from large cats uh, dragging humans into their caves and eating humans. So a couple points here. Number one, we weren't always hunter from the uh, hunted. Hunters, for most of our existence, we were the hunted. We weren't the predators, we were the prey. We didn't start off being hunters, we started off being hunted. For most of our lives, we were the hunted. And second off, uh, we didn't begin large-scale hunting until about 60, maybe 80,000 years ago. We were um, scavengers. We had a small-scale practice of hunting various uh, squirrels and, and small animals, but we didn't take down large Prey. That only happened at a certain point in our, in our evolution quite recently, 60,000 60, years ago. It was quite recent in human evolution that began five to seven million years ago, our earliest ancestors. So that is quite recent. So we, we hunted uh, small animals. We didn't begin hunting larger animals until 60,000 to 80,000 years ago. And this whole man the hunter myth. Uh, occludes two other things uh, that is very important to emphasize here, Tony uh, and Jason. And that is, number one, we have been vegetarians, or we've uh, had a plant-based diet throughout most of our existence. We did not eat uh, meat. We ate carrion. We ate what was left for um, and we, had, we scavenged the remains of other animals that were already killed. We ate mostly fruits, nuts, tubers, and all kinds of uh, other foods. So our existence is not of a, a violent predator predatory, meat-based uh, meat uh, kind of animal. That, that's not been our history at all. And hunting tries to promote this false view of our evolutionary roots. And second of all, uh, feminists have uh, quite usefully pointed this out. Uh, this man-the-hunter myth completely occludes the existence of women throughout history. Yeah. It gives man the important uh, role for driving evolution, what about women uh, for creating and establishing societies by being the primary food provider. But women have been just as important, if not more important, food providers uh, through gathering throughout our, our evolutionary history. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if man the hunter is right, then I would I would add women the gatherer. Women the gatherer is a much more accurate view of history. So there are all kinds of pernicious things going on here with with hunting and the anthropological uh, mythologies that are that are a part of hunting culture. They have completely falsified history to make us think that we are predatory, violent, bloodthirsty, patriarchal animals from our very existence, and none of this is true. So, how so the, the, the whole culture is based on lying. They manipulate science to justify their killing. They've manipulated history and anthropological evidence. Uh, it, it really is uh, a, a huge uh, pastiche of, of, of lies quilted together.
Jason, any what comments? I, actually, what I hear you saying, Steve, is that at some point in our in our so-called evolution, we took a very wrong turn, and uh, we need to write. We need to set reset our course. Uh, we need to reset our moral compasses and abandon hunting, particularly with the stage where, where we are now in terms of technology. Uh, and it, there's no absolutely no need for hunting at this point. I mean, it's uh, you made the point in one of your essays that there are virtually no uh, cultures, no extant civilizations or cultures that uh, rely on sustenance hunting. Modern hunters tend to tend to try to point way back into the past to justify the present. In my opinion, modern hunting, modern trophy hunting, recreational hunting is only a couple of centuries old. And we're talking about millions of years of our history. And uh, these people are just manipulators, absolutely, totally.